and welcome back. My name is Kermit, and we are playing Final Fantasy VII Randomized. Uh, we have some Cinemods for some graphical enhancements, and guys, y'all let me skip right over doing the Gold Saucer last time. What were y'all thinking? I mean, come on. Um, we finished up with Bugenhagen, and uh, we did the Seto mission, um, got Red figured out, you know, got past his mental anguish. And um, now I think our best bet is to actually go back and do the battle square since we skipped right over it. Um, we will be using speed skip a lot so that we can take best advantage of the uh, time that we do have since I have such little time. Y'all, those just dropped three apocalypses. One of Cloud's top weapons. Are you kidding me, yo? Let's go, bro. All right, let's see what we got here. I don't think it's going to be more powerful necessarily. Oh, yep, more powerful. But here's the thing. Triple slots. But they're singles. But that is how you actually make up for it because that is essentially nine total materia positions, right? So we need to figure out what we don't need. For instance, this steel as well has yet to do us any good. Um, I don't want to keep on long range, I'm gonna keep on master command, gonna keep on double cut. So those are not going anywhere. Um, you know, counter attack could probably go. Um, it's nice and all, but we don't really need it for anything. Um, it is free damage, but we're looking to, to put our damage on ourselves, right? So. I think we're good there. Um, I like having restore on everybody. I like having at least one magic materia. Um, so the question goes HP plus, XP plus, luck plus, speed plus. We're already level 34. I think let's take off the XP plus and all we're gonna do is we're just gonna give it to one of these guys, right? So. We'll find somebody who doesn't have 100% great items and swap it over. Whew, w summon, guys. We picked that one up last game, I want to say, or maybe the game before. Uh, problem is, they, no one can ever use it because we have no need for it. Um, nothing lasts long enough, and for a long time, we couldn't even use it on the basis that... Uh, um, we didn't have enough MP to even do a summon. Um, so yeah. We have some HP pluses. We might want to move on to these other guys too at some point. Okay. And what we want to use in the top three slots, and the slots that we're actually going to use, are the ones that we want to master the fastest, or have the longest time for mastery. So, Bahamut Zero, Bahamut Zero, whatever you want to call him, he's got a ton of experience to level him all the way up. So we'll probably keep him up there. HP Plus has the most benefit. So I think that's what we'll do, is we'll, we'll drop this, we'll put 2x up here, or double cut up here, and um, put lug plus down here, and we'll, 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 we can passively earn these ones and be fine, right? So I think that's how we'll do it, and we'll go from there. I like having a long range attack. We're all using long range attacks. Man, that was a nice pickup. Very nice pickup. A little bit better in almost every regard. We got Ultima when it's time too, so it'd be nice to get a different sword on Cloud after we've been playing the whole game with the crystal sword, so You know what? I don't know if we've stolen from these guys. Let's see what they got. I did not see it. Good job. Nothing on either of them? I 
I don't know what to do, guys. <laughs> I was being dumb. Alrighty. Um, everyone's asleep. It's fine, guys. It's fine. Oop. Sorry. <laughs> there we go. There goes one. There goes the other guy. Apocalypse looks pretty darn cool, guys. Pretty damn cool. All right. So, back to the gold saucer we go. Now, these guys, I don't said nothing to steal, right? I have to do it twice just to make sure I'm an idiot. The battle score should be interesting with Cloud right now. I might need to put counter back on or throw on another HP up or something like that, but we'll we'll, we'll see how it goes. We're going to have to build up some points so that we can even do it. So I'm not going to mess around with these dudes with their insta-kill. Excuse me. I move the microphone around a little bit so y'all don't hear the keyboard clicking quite so loud. You know, when I was picking out this computer, I have not played computer in a very long time. Ooh, I have to go back through Coral. That's my bad. Um, I hadn't had a PC in years, and so I didn't really know even what to look for. And one of the things that I did was I kind of looked at what people like by watching videos and stuff, and kept hearing about these cherry clickers. So I was like, you know, I probably want that. After having them and having kids and wife and they're trying to do stuff, it, it I've actually made it harder to play sometimes because I can't use the clickety keyboard because it's too loud. <laughs> if y'all have got infants, you know exactly what I'm talking about there. Um, gold M phone and a vaccine. We're just going to leave that where it is. <laughs> We're not going into that conversation around here. <laughs> Let's see. I bet you they're worth one. Yeah. Of course they are. Anything that's good. Oop. Uh, I think it was only worth one, but I'm fine. Keep the Fury Ring because who knows when I need it, but we don't need one of these Tiger Fangs. Cat's Bells are only worth one. We'll keep all accessories because you never know when you might want or need it. The super shot, only worth one. It's like anything that's really, really good isn't going to be worth anything more than one point gold GP or whatever it is, unfortunately. Okay, gold Barrett, we'll take that. Gold Beret. Max Ray is one. Yeah. We really don't need money for a lot right now. Um, crystal sword 9000 that's nice 1900 for the rune sword ultima will be one 16 guidebooks yeah. <laughs> i wonder if we can go back now you know what? we'll wait until we have the um the airship i think that even then you can't do it i think it, you have to be on disc three before he'll he'll trade him out uh all righty and we already have our lifetime so I don't think that we'll get locked in here for the date yet. I think that's later on in the game. Um, I think. And I know the volume's super low, guys, for the actual music, which is a bummer, but it's the only way that I can avoid um, having... Oh, I got to keep my GP. So we only lose battle points, but we can't even leave the battle arena. But that's nice, because we have our GP. We have some GP. I think you, you probably want to take in like 300. But we're just going to first, we're going to go test it. We're going to see what we get there. Because like right here, it won't let you look at what's there until you have some battle points. So it may or may not be worth going the full fight or anything. We're... We'll probably literally just win one battle so that we can see what's in there. You know what? No, we're, we're not that weak. We'll run it a couple of times. 
Jesus. It's like 1700 per. Okay. Instant death is now no longer protected. Uh, mini is not protected anymore. Frog song is not protected. Or frog, whatever. <laughs> of course. Okay. It's all right. It's all right. We will item. I think I have what we need to fix it. Don't forget. At my mom, Papos. You see the camera? Still here, oh. but remember how you were saying you didn't really care yeah. for the angle? I, I did some stuff. I think you might like like it a little bit better. Oh, we lost all commands. Nice. Here goes two x attack, uh, double double attack, whatever. And what's sad is that one might be the only one that gives us a lot of points. Um, oh, Jesus, nice. Um, it might be the only one that gives us a lot of points. The rest of them have been not so great uh, as far as point. Like, so if it's frog or it's mini, because you can cure it, most times those give very few points. But like half health or a all materia penalty gives you a ton of points. So it's not always about having the safest. The, the most dangerous ones are the ones that give you the most points. Weapons broken. Nice. Um, yeah, we don't have anything. Oh, oh, oh boy. Two hits each. When we get down to just one guy with one hit, we'll probably go ahead and heal up. Strategically, that's kind of how you would have the most hit points going into the next battle. Um... Let's see, how much does that do? That was almost enough, let's go. Oh, did we lose long range? Okay, lost items, awesome. I think we'll still win this fight though. I should have probably done fire for the high, high damage. Yeah, there we go guys. See, we're not scared. 9,000 battle points. That actually wasn't bad. Oh. <laughs> Final heaven is our consolation prize. No tissues for us, gentlemen. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Uh, next page. So I would like to have enemy lore. Preemptive. We can buy fury rings. And we already have champion belts, and they are busted. They're they're actually broken. So the only thing that I really really need, we can almost buy. Two things: preemptive and enemy lure. So we'll go ahead and buy. That changes everything. That literally changes everything. <laughs> We're gonna have to buy everything, guys. Okay, Phoenix Town was vanilla. Aegis Armlet we already have. Ether is vanilla. That's so weird. Just amulet. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so this ought to be fun. Um, let's see where we're at. Protects against transformations. Okay. Did we already have one of everything? Because it said just amulet. Whatever that is. It should be at the bottom, right? I didn't use all of anything. I don't remember us having missing score. That's that's had to have been there for a while, yeah. Hmm. 
<laughs> yeah, I got nothing, guys. Uh, this is gonna throw everything off. It's a weird way to have some randomization going on. So vaccine we got outside. So none of the items that we just picked up showed up here. Um, nothing went in here. Okay. Okay, so interesting. Okay, okay. So even though it says that we didn't get the enemy lure, we did. That would, that makes it easier. That's kind of what I have expected, but that, okay, we can work with that. Okay, so let's go ahead and top off our heels. I don't think it'll let us use an ether. Ethers are broken for some reason once you start randomizing. Yeah, so you see right here, it won't let us use it. It's grayed out. Um, okay, so that would make sense because everything we got, two of those items we shouldn't have been able to get. So uh, what happened to the heaven's cloud? Did that end up just being a tissue as well? Hard to, uh, uh, uh. Got a butterfly edge. Silver armlet. See, I thought we got a gold M phone, not a black M phone, just like very recently. Death penalty is nice. So half remembering what we had last week. Uh, the fun of the randomizer. Um, I think I am going to do one thing real fast. Two things. And then I wanted to put on counterattack. Are we getting enemy skill from Master Command? One way to find out. So let's put on counterattack and let's hit it again, and that'll tell us if we get enemy skill or not. Even if we did, it would not have. Because each enemy skill requires you to get the skills, so it won't have beta. So we will take beta in. Just so that we have the option. These first fights will probably just smash through. I mean, I don't care about poison. Accessories broken this early. Okay. What we could do is white wind. White wind, if you didn't know, time x 30 damage. Um, oh, the amount of time times 30 gives you our what damage we took. That one probably didn't give us a lot of points. Um, Frog Song, or uh, White Wind clears all ailments, so even though it's expensive, it, it does two for one. You get your heals and you get the removals, so I might even still have Fury going if I wasn't paying attention. Or more specifically, I wasn't paying attention, so I might have had Fury on still. We have to watch and make sure that if we lose, if we lose our... Um, materia that we move to the front row. Where was 
does it. Maiden's kiss, right? Yeah. See, and that's why if you get the um, frog, it's not that big of a deal unless you've already lost items. Look at that. First one was so many more points. It sucks that we don't get final heaven, though. Let's see. Is it filling up... The tissue. So tissues were at four. We'll run it again, see what it leaves us with. Got nine more. I think we can get everything that we want since we now know how it how even though it says something different, we still get the original item. Ten points for the first fight. See, like you almost want to lose all your materia right at the end because that one pays out significantly. But you don't want to lose it too early because then you um, can't win the final fight. Goodness gracious, those don't even give us enough points. This one's going to be another like 4,000 pointer. Whatever they're doing is healing me. <laughs> what on earth, dude? I'm such a low level, I can't even do damage anymore. And this is where this comes in. <laughs> Is it worth 35? Yeah, it's worth 35. Yeah, this is... We only had like 400 points on the last one. Wrong potion, but okay. Will it let me use ethers? Yes or no? Nope. See no ether, so there we go again. Get out, dude. I don't even know if we're gonna get a thousand points from this long fight. Eleven hundred points. Okay. Where's that tissue at? Yep. Okay, so even though it says it's giving us he final heaven or whatever, it's actually only giving us um, tissues for each one of those. So a little bit of a Issue with the randomizer, not a big deal. Here we go again. What the F, y'all? Baby, you know we can hear you from over here, right? Nothing wrong with being hungry, but <laughs> crunching pretty loud there. It's chips. I can't help it. You're crunching really loud. It's a good thing you're beautiful. Oh, guys. Whoa. I don't know if we're going to be able to get through this one. That was a tough hit.
we could get one shot, so let's do it again. <laughs> Good God. If we survive it. Sixteen hundred points. Okay, we need uh, what do we have? Nine thousand, so we need six thousand, I think. Our first fight gave us like double points or something. I don't know what happened. Okay. Since my accessory wasn't broken, it actually protected me. It's where like ribbon comes in handy if you you have ribbon. We might run um, a fight or two with poison on and then cure it, um, so that we're topped off. You know, take a little more damage. Let White Wind do more for less. Okay, that hurt our health. Counterattack. Oh. Okay, so before we lose access, let's go ahead and do this right here. We're going to go one more time, actually. Probably should have killed one and then did it one more time, but we're fine. We're just going to roll with it. This one isn't going to give us very many points, but uh, we'll survive it. Okay, so we need about 3,000 points. And we'll have to come back, I think, as soon as you get the airship, if you come back, that's when you can get um, Omni Slash, which is you know, what we hope for, um, or what we, we want, because it is very strong. All right, so we don't have frog protection anymore, because we lost our accessory. No summon materia. That one's a high point value, so, or should be a high point value, if I had to surmise. Eh. Not really. The restore doesn't give you barely anything, so yeah, it gave me one battle point. Okay. You kind of want to either keep, or if you want to get lucky and end up with either your weapon not broken and no materia, or everything broken and having one materia type that you can use to, to still win the game. So whether it be yellow materia or your summon materia or you know whatever it takes. You want something to be able to finish the match out. I have finished matches before that were like, you're, you're literally coming down to the last second because you, there's no way to heal, there's no way to um, get rid of status ailments you're, you're literally like frog and you're hitting for one damage and so you're having to hit this dude 200 freaking times uh yeah it gets a little rough have we stolen from this dude before nothing to steal okay i think normally when you're in the battle arena it does that so you, you typically can't steal oh was that aqualong okay Nice though. That's what we needed. So had I not messed this up, we would already have this. Okay, so that says Phoenix. I would love for it to be Phoenix. And it is. I am beyond confused. <laughs> but we have Phoenix now. Okay. I don't even know. 
That one says Fury Ring. We already had a Fury Ring, so I don't know if we would have gotten another one or not. We had a Water Ring already. All right, so that might have actually been a Fury Ring. Um, should we go for the Speed Plus? Because we didn't get preemptive. Oh, boys. What do we do? What do we do? We have five attempts. Um, you know what? I'm good. The mystery has already been done. Let's see. I think we have to have our own chocobos before we can actually... race ourselves. There's also kind of like a method to this. And I do not remember what it is. Number five. Is someone pulling up, baby? Is someone pulling up? Okay. Let's see. I forget which guy we picked. Uh, whoever pink was. I think I was going for five, so. Who wasn't even in the top, whatever. Okay, we're not gonna waste a lot of time on this, guys. I think we got the one thing that we wanted, which was to see what was in the, the deal and if it was randomized and it is some randomized and it's some not randomized, so who knows? But having Phoenix is nice. We're gonna wanna slow this down and we're gonna start progressing. Um, let's see how far into this episode we're in. Okay, we got enough time to do a little progression. Um, no way we're at least accomplishing something before we roll out of here. Alrighty. The angle is a little weird on this fight. Maybe we should speed it up just a little bit more. Here, already stole from this guy. She's gonna eventually level up to her second uh, limit. And Cloud needs to be placed on his third. I keep forgetting to switch it over, so. Here we go with that. He's already on his third satellite beam. Which I think is probably his strongest, if I remember correctly.
Might make me a whiskey before the next episode, too. Have we stolen from these guys yet? We have not. Or at least they have something. Mop. Mop is best weapon for... Oh, what? Okay. Yeah, so these guys, you... They swap... I forgot, of course, until I started fighting them, but they swap what hurts them. So... Um, when you hit them with magic, they switch to physical. When you hit them with physical, they switch to magic. So you just have to kind of balance it. So this is the dude that I thought we would see on the bridge. It's either that or like a zoo, maybe? A zool? Can't reach. They're all long range. What are you talking about? Oh, that's dumb. They can hit, but they can't steal with long range on. Or without long range. Whatever it was, we already have some of them. Yeah, whatever it was, we already have. I'm a tent up. Just because it's fast. I think I'm gonna move enemy skill back to our boy. Barot. And maybe throw back on luck plus. Yeah. Really need to get shield leveled up so we can take advantage of it. Yeah. Nothing to steal for the guys, for the animals. Wolves, whatever. Did y'all see that Barrett and Cloud literally ended up with the same damage left over? 1354. Alright, she got a wind slash, which does not do us any good. It is double. It's double, which is worth essentially four slots, or double whatever the slots are that you have. So in this case, six slots. And she has eight on her spiral. It's also half damage. Yeah, I think we're gonna stick with what we have. Um, yeah, I think so. It's got normal growth. You know, it's not like she's losing growth necessarily. All right. So we are right there, guys, about to experience Nibelheim. Um, we have five minutes to end the episode, and we haven't accomplished anything yet. So this one might end up being an hour. Let's go. Blah, blah, blah. We're not... We're not gonna do all that. Some of these guys give you stuff. I don't know if they are what they say they are, which they aren't, because that should not have been a luck source. Um, so yet again, we have a little bit of... Um, inconsistencies here. I don't remember where everything is. 
See, when you play randomized, things that were not important normally might end up being important. So it's like, if you don't at least try, you don't know what you're going to get. So that was an elixir. That might have been vanilla. Yeah, I think that was vanilla. By vanilla, I mean it was what it said it was. That might not be the right word. You're sick, don't say such things. Says the sicko. You know, before we finish this up, I should probably go check all the things I need now. So that was supposed to be a Master Axe. It definitely wasn't, or we would have seen it. Was it a Master Fist, maybe? But then, how did it end up in the right spot? <laughs> should be at the bottom. Uh, oh boy. All right, because like right now, I really need to know what is the song for Tifa's so that we can play it pr correctly. Croca greens, more like croca shit. Okay, so I think we're going to go ahead and look it up real fast um, for the sake of it. Let's see, Tifa Piano FF7. Okay, so I have to have Tifa in the party, and it's not until this two, so we're not ready to do it right now anyways. I should remember the Vincent one pretty well, so we should be able to do that without too much trouble. Is this like the kid? Why is there a kid clone? Whatever. Let's see if it actually gave us what it said it gave us, which it didn't, and gave us a luck source again. Instead of a weapon for, I believe that, a uh, Grow Lance, so that would have been our guy Sid. Let's talk to these people. And we could go through the process of learning each of the combinations. I forget what they are. Um, we can go to like each of the rooms and find it. Like right here is one of the rooms that a lot of people don't ever find because it's hard to see. Or the pathway is probably the better way to say it. it wasn't the room. You get in from the other side. Here, silver and phone. Okay, that seems like it actually was what it was. Let's steal, nothing to steal.
All right, what we'll probably do for this dive is we'll, we'll kind of look around. Oh, I guess you can't get from the other side. Um, we'll just kind of look around, check for any boxes, and then we'll save up, um, close out this episode, and I'll come back and we'll do the um, hidden boss whenever we come back and see what we get from the hidden boss this time around. Um, I think that's that's the move right there. Otherwise, it's going to be a pretty long episode. I got a bit of a headache, so uh, making a whiskey will probably make me feel a lot better. I said it was a four slot. More than likely it was. Really? There, I will you up, buddy. Yeah, wiped out Yuffie pretty handedly. Fortunately, we have everything we need. Oh, poor guy fell off of a pit, off of his rope. Poison level up, very nice. Okay, we have not stolen from the mirrors. Yuffie is somehow invisible. Awesome. Okay, that was a long something, long barrel, HR, whatever that guy is. That looks to be what it said as it was. Enemy launcher we already have. so fast all righty we will do Vincent's later as well and we'll do that in the next episode <coughs> I thought we already had our magic source there. I thought we had one already in use or sitting in storage so it should have been there Oh, I wish they would hit him with that. Okay, nothing to steal. Do they do the same thing where we have to switch up our physical? Yeah. I'd like to see him do the question mark attack on Barrett. But it's not worth it. It's not a strong enough spell either to, to sit and waste time on it. I think we have a save in the inn. Or we can go outside, it doesn't matter. We were there earlier, so I should have remembered. Alrighty, guys. Well, I want to thank you all for stopping in for this episode. Make sure you click the like button. Hit subscribe if you like seeing this type of content. Or if you have any other suggestions about what you'd like to see me play, let me know down there in the comments. Thank you for stopping by, and have a wonderful day.